Well, Claire, thank you very much for joining us at a slightly noisy Fratton Park. First of all, just give us an update on all things going on at PITC at the moment. Well, we're still involved in our COVID response. Um, the food deliveries are much, much smaller than they were, uh, partly because people have got themselves sorted a little bit more and partly the supermarkets are able to uh, do so much more than they were. We're doing more now in supporting people who are really struggling. Um, so we're doing a lot of care packages. Uh, we're doing watch the match live on Zoom so you can get that feeling of being there with someone else. And I think as we come to sort of the recovery phase, we're looking to do more sort of mental health and get everybody back engaged and physically active because some people, yep, they've used this as a great opportunity to do some exercise, but there's a lot of people who really do need to re-engage with activity. All fantastic stuff and I'm sure one project that fans will have already seen is the Wembley Ticket Initiative. Just talk us through that one and, and how that came about. Um, I think the Pompey Supporters Trust uh, brought it first to our attention. That other clubs had done virtual tickets quite successfully. Um, and we just thought it would be a nice thing to be able to do for, for our supporters. I know many of them have got their ticket, but a ticket with the actual date um, that, that's prepared specially will be a really great memento in 10 years' time to have a ticket that, that clearly states, you know, played behind closed doors will be quite unique. Absolutely. And in terms of the fundraising, it's, it's all going to fantastic causes as well. Absolutely. It is more about the fundraising rather than the tickets for a lot of people. Um, and that will all go to support our COVID response. As I say, you know, there are different parts that, that we're doing more of now. Um, and working with other charities, you know, we're really impacting on, on some people who are really in desperate situations in the city. And are there particular programmes that the, the money will go towards? Probably partly to do our live cooking, because what we found is that we were delivering food parcels and people weren't able to use the ingredients because they didn't know how to cook. So we're doing quite a lot of cook-along Zooms, uh, filming and editing, teaching how to cook, delivering ingredients and teaching people how to cook, um, and also healthy cooking. You know, it's all very well cooking for yourself, but if you're cooking for yourself, you might as well make it healthy. So we're doing a lot of that. Um, we're also, as I say, doing a lot of care packages, going out, having chats with elderly, isolated people. Um, we're delivering all sorts of feel-good, you know, bl bulbs that are just about to come into flat things that can people that help people think that you know just around the corner it's going to be okay and looking at the crowdfunding you see you've got off to a flying start the generosity of Pompey fans it never ceases to amaze does it always always I've linked it to my email so every time somebody donates I get an email and I've had to put it on silent sometimes because it's pinging off the wall which is just incredible yeah and, and you've got a, a target as well to hit we've got a target of five thousand pounds I think it's been up three days and we're on nearly £2,000, so fingers crossed. We're also going to have some special prizes or, or rewards that we're going to put on as the week goes on and we get closer to the final, so hopefully that will help as well. And finally, Claire, it would be silly of me to mention the Papa John's Trophy final and not get your thoughts on what you're expecting from the game. It's uh, going to be a big one, a Wembley final and, and Portsmouth, they go hand in hand, don't they? They do. Um, I've had some of the best moments in the last 10 years at Wembley and I'm just hoping that wherever I am going to be watching it, we end up with another fabulous afternoon. Well, it's fantastic to catch up with you, Claire, and keep up the great work that you do. Thank you. Appreciate it.